a Paul's gig on Friday, right? So 15,000 people. He's probably 20 minutes into his set. And the, 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 me, the screens, the monitors just switch off. Uh -huh. So it just caused chaos. I, like, can you imagine trying to like calm 15,000 people down? So, so he did a really good job of like just sort of talking people through it. Talk. Yeah, I won't carry on with the set until these are back on. And he's like, there'll be a fucking tech guy in the back going, Bruh, Bruh. And I've got a video because I was stood where all the tech guys were. And this guy's shit, his past like trying <laughs> to get these screens back on because people are booing and that. The screens come back on after about, I don't know, maybe five, 10 minutes. <clears throat> And he manages to just about start, he would just about start saying his set again. A massive fight broke out right in front of the stage. Fight? What? Who's fighting like a- I always thought that. Cause my dad said he went to watch Peter K at Leeds and there were a fight there as well. But I think what yeah. it is, it's like seats, people, are, no, but people are, are, are drinking, like if the show starts at nine o'clock, people have made an afternoon of it, got absolutely shit faced. So a big fight broke out at the front. Next thing, another fight breaks, breaks out up in the stands. God. So this is why I don't go, you know, you asked me about like, why I don't go to like public things. Yeah. That's why, like. That, that's not the first time that's happened though, when you've gone to see him, is it? That's happened before. There's always like a bit I'm of, sure a, there's always tends to be like a, a bit of a kerfuffle, doesn't there? When you filmed him for Stage to the Cage, you were filming <laughs> him in an arena. <laughs> You're like a 60 year old woman. <laughs> that was a bit of a kerfuffle. Though. That was the M&S M yeah. Bank Arena. And you were chatting to him backstage after and he said, oh, did you see that? I'll yeah. Kick off. And, yeah. So it's happened before. So I, I, I filmed me yesterday after uh, after the footy and he, I went how did Saturday night go then were it any better and he went lad I was 40 minutes into my set 15,000 people and he could hear somebody shouting in stands at right hand side ah, ah. so he stops because he's like I'm going to have to acknowledge it because everyone can hear it he's like what's that mate and he's like you're not funny you've not made me laugh once oh my god and I, I said I'm like Damn. what sort of a fucking psychopath would so a stop a, a professional comedian. Would stop a gig of 15,000, when 15,000, 14,999 more people have laughed all the way through. Yeah. This and he's one psychopath. A ticket for it as well. Yeah, this one psychopath has gone, now nah, you don't make me laugh. How mental is that? How mentally unwell? And then, and then you're, you're the subject of everyone's attention in front of a man whose job <laughs> it is to make people laugh. He's just going to make fun of you for the, like, I'm surprised even let him off the fucking ropes, man. No, I'm pretty sure he'll be kicked out. But like, yeah, but I'm sure not before Paul just annihilated him oh for like yeah, five like minutes. Oh yeah, Paul said like, I'm a confident guy, but not even, not even I would stand up in front of 50,000 people. That's the live equivalent of like negative YouTube comments. <laughs> that one person, like what, what's wrong with you, Imagine man? we were doing a live show and someone just stands up and goes, you fucking shit. We'd be like, we I know, know. Yeah. you asked for this. We didn't ask for this. <laughs> I would, yeah, humbly acknowledge that. But yeah, I know, mate, I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we need money should, back. Should we, get should we get George to start playing with his band now? <laughs>